What's up everyone? I am Hijodo Brodo and welcome to A Year in Film, the series where I am attempting to watch through some of the best movies ever made in the year 2021 and making these short sort of almost like vlogs about these videos. So today I'm going to be talking about a film that made quite a bit of noise when it came out back in 2018 and that is Black Klansman. Now Black Klansman is, to put it very simply, about an African-American police officer from Colorado. Colorado Springs, Colorado, in the United States, who managed to infiltrate the local chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. It's a really interesting movie. It puts a new kind of twist on the whole, the topic of race that is so commonly, well, brought up in films but it does it in a different way. Now, I personally really enjoyed this movie. I know some people I've spoken to haven't thought it really lived up to the hype. I'll say this, it may not be the most powerful movie made, you know, that discusses the prominent issue of race, but it is well done, it's a joy to watch, and it is a film that is just well worth viewing in my opinion. So, as I briefly mentioned before, this film focuses on the character of Ron Stallworth, who is an African-American cop working for the Colorado Springs Police Department. Now, right from the get-go, it is made very clear that this is a period in US history where there is a lot of racial tension going on. It's set in the 1970s, only one decade before, in the 60s, was the Civil Rights Movement, or the, the peak of the Civil Rights Movement, um, with Martin Luther King Jr., etc. So this is kind of taking place shortly after that. So right from the get-go, there's this tension, and you can kind of feel it all throughout the film. After Ron is Hired. He's the first black cop on the Colorado Springs team, and he, he somehow gets in contact with the local chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. And, and through the clever use of language and things like that over the phone, he manages to convince the members of this Ku Klux Klan chapter that he is a white American who hates all this racial equality stuff. Now, as the movie progresses, Ron Stallworth works with Flip Zimmerman, another cop on the Colorado Springs Police Department who is a white Jewish cop. Essentially what happens is Ron talks on the phone and Zip goes in in person to the Ku Klux Klan meetings. And as it progresses, it's all about kind of how, what happens, all the chaos that unfolds. The acting in this film is excellent on all parts. John David Washington plays the part of Ron Stallworth and he does a fantastic job of it. He plays this very cool, calm, collected character who somehow manages to maintain a level head despite some very hideous things that are said to him and that he has to say himself. Adam Driver is also in this film. He plays Flip Zimmerman and again, just does an excellent job. I, I have to imagine that many of the parts in this film cannot have been easy to play because there are a lot of very, very bigoted racist things that are said so that the characters can attempt to fit in with the KKK. And that being said, the actors who play the part of the KKK members also did a brilliant job, just a very convincing job of playing these honestly quite nasty, bigoted people, you know, with some horrific ideas. Topher Grace is one of those, you may remember him as being Eric from that 70s show. He plays David Duke, the Grand Wizard, I think it was, of the KKK. In other words, like the top dog. And again, he just did an excellent part of playing the role. He really convinces you that he is this bigoted, hateful, white supremacist man, and you know, he did a great job of it. The, the whole cast really did fantastic job. The plot overall is very good. The, the movie did win an Oscar for Best Writing. It was nominated for Best Picture. Didn't win that one though, and won many, many other awards. It's just a very enjoyable plot. It's very easy to watch, but it's also very powerful, and I think that's one of the things I like most about it, is it, it has a clear message, and it's a powerful message, but it doesn't, you you know, it's not hard to kind of digest. It's not like you don't have to think about it too much. It, it just very naturally conveys the message of this idea that there was such massive racial inequality um, and that it really was a hideous thing. One of the most important things in this film is that it really stresses the idea that even after the civil rights movement, after Martin Luther King Jr. and all of all of, you know, the amazing work that went on in the 60s and things, there were still so many people who were opposed to equal rights and so many people who genuinely believed that, you know, white supremacy was kind of the, the mantra to live by. And it really is, in my mind, a criticism of that. And it makes it clear that, you know, these issues exist. They're, they're issues that cannot be swept under the carpet. They need to be brought out into the open because that's the only way things are ever gonna move forward. And I thought they did that really well. The movie also did a good job of um, kind of invoking feeling 
You know, I talk about this a lot. I say I think a good movie makes you feel something, and Black Klansman did do this. So overall, fantastic film. On IMDb, it's given a 7.5. It's not actually in the top 250, but it was on my list of films to watch, seeing as it won an Oscar. And again, it just made quite a, a lot of noise. You know, there was a lot of discussion about it when it first came out. I would agree with that rating. I think 7.5 is is uh, definitely adequate for this movie. Definitely worth the time to watch. Very well made, very good, very enjoyable, and definitely worth checking out. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about Black Klansman. Let me know if you've watched it. If you haven't, go check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe it, all of that stuff helps me out. And just let me know if you're in general enjoying these videos, this A Year in Film series. I'm really enjoying watching the movies and I'm enjoying making the videos and I hope you guys are enjoying watching them as well. Check out Brodocast. It's my podcast that I'm working on with some friends. Link to that is in the description. And overall, just have yourself a fantastic day, month, week, year. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Hijodo Brodo, out.